Uh-huh! I know, right? I know, right? I love that part so much! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to CF Reacts. My name is Casper Fox. I've been a brand manager for six years, going on my seventh, but that doesn't matter today because you are probably just coming from Mordius's video where we watched the first two songs mm -hmm. of uh, the first of the of the epic saga. <laughs> and my goodness, was it fantastic. But uh, anyway, uh, I want to say thank you, thank you very much for Mordius for doing this with me, first of all. And hello, Mordius, do your thing. Hello! How's everybody doing? Uh, so yes, I am Mordius. If you somehow made it to this video without coming to mine first, two things. One, hi, my name is Mordius. I am a reactor of my own. I do musical analyses over on my channels. Normally when I say that, I just mean I'm reacting to music, but more and more lately, I'm actually doing musical analysis of musicals, um, which is a blast. I also want to let you know if you're somehow here without being from my video that this video is probably not going to make a lot of sense. This video is very, very much a part two uh, because we are reacting to the second half of the first saga of Epic the Musical. So if you are here on your own, I definitely recommend checking out my video where we just finished recording it like 10 seconds ago over on my channel before you hop into this one just for it to actually make cohesive sense. Do you have any other thoughts or anything Fantastic. you want to share, or are you just dying to hop no. into it? I am dying to hop into <laughs> it. Understandable. So yeah, further ado. I like was too. I'm pretty sure ado. my intro for my second half when I did the reaction was also short. I was just like, hi, it's me again. Let's react. <laughs> I didn't want to wait. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. All righty. Let's get this show on the road. Let's Woo! get this show on the road. Let's put do it. On, it. Put it oh, and this is a different animator. Just a heads up. Six hundred men under my command With only one goal in mind Make it back alive to our homeland Six hundred men Six hundred miles of open sea Okay, first of all, <laughs> I love how this, uh, how this picketing string instrument uh, mm -hmm. sounds almost like a lute or something like that starts as a as a, a choir lead response so 600 men do 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 yeah 100 yeah, yeah. and then it goes together like and then it, it goes together and and the choir response from from the men themselves is, is great as well oh what a cool um, perspective I, am, I don't think i caught yeah. that oh well, well this yeah it's choir <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i love love it love it so far I, I wanna... 600 men 600 miles of open sea Oh yeah. But the problem's not the distance. It's what lies in between. And did they cause waiting? <laughs> just throwing. <laughs> just throwing. Throwing a lot of a lot of foreshadowing. Um, wow. Did you ever random question, did you ever read Percy Jackson? Yes, I did. Were you a Percy Jackson? Okay, so you actually not i'm going to be very careful what i say but just like me you actually know more of the odyssey story than you realize okay because as they are heading to um like heading across this open sea you want to know what they're essentially yeah. crossing the sea of monsters so when that quick flash of three, you saw a multi-tentacled head, you saw an open-toothed mouth, and then you saw a single eye. Okay. So I a lot of the second, excited. a lot of the second Percy Jackson book pulls from the Odyssey. So if yeah. you've read that series, you know a couple of the things that are ahead for you, which is the same as I did. I like knew like some very vague like very reinterpreted events from the odyssey but still mostly blind but yeah as that quick flash of what lies ahead that's pretty fun the, and i love how he he's used the music so or uh, jorge has used the music here so that mm -hmm. like, ba, 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 ba. so it just goes that half step down until we get to like like we go out out almost home home um, Ooh. Where we, where we get this 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 really cool melody progression that that has Every time the note changes, the different aspect of the monster is shown. Like, uh... Where we have that, and it's... Oh, it's so good. And I love that that he has... Uh, is Jorge a guy? I don't want to... Yes. Wanna... <laughs> to my <laughs> knowledge, I hope so. Otherwise, I've been messing up. I imagine someone would have corrected me by now. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Uh, oh, 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 there, there we go. go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, 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 because I love that he had every right to actually make this a harmony choir response. Mm-hmm. He made this D boys unison, which is you know soldiers like that yes. gives the soldier vibe. You know, I really like that. Great, great pick, great pick. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Captain, you really just 600 men. 600 men with big mouths to feed. And we run out of surprise to eat. I'm I'm hearing a new instrument for this guy again. I don't know, I can't really it sounds like an acoustic bass. I knew I knew I wouldn't regret sharing that insight with you. I knew as soon as I told you you'd be <laughs> listening out for it every time. Yep. Yeah. So meet Eurylicus. Uh he is definitely a good person to remember. Um but yeah. Eurylicus? Eurylicus. So we're going to meet another character soon, and then I'm going to tell you how I remember their names. Because <laughs> someone gave okay. me a hit, because I struggled so hard to remember the names in this show. So I'll give you the hit once we finish this song. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm so bad with names. I can't even remember like what I ate for dinner last night. So I so was eating, like, like, like having names and stuff. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <sighs> yeah. Big mouths to feed, and we run out of surprise to eat. There's a war of who's source of feed Six hundred men, six hundred reasons to take what we can. So, Captain, what's the plan? Captain, what's the plan? Watch where the birds fly. Watch where the birds they, fly. Will to they will lead us to land. There will hunt for food, my second in command. Now, for speed up. I see an island, I see a light that faintly glows. Okay, before we get I really like how um, uh, the lead, the, the guy who, who, I'm so bad at names, the main character. I Odysseus. Odysseus. I don't, have a, is, I don't have a mental device for Odysseus. You're just going to have to remember that one. <laughs> Odysseus, okay, yeah. Well, he's the main character. Sure, yeah, so hopefully. I'll, I'll pick up on that. I like how, because this is where lovely, lovely vocal types and ranges come in handy. Mm -hmm. Because normally, you have the higher voices leading more than the lower voices. Mm -hmm. And here you have this really, really cool dynamic where the main character's voice stands out so nicely in his tenor vocals. High yes. Up. And he adds, he adds, uh, the, the great thing is that he doesn't actually just belt out all these notes, like above like G4. He he goes into this soft, false yes. voice. Yes. Uh, instead, instead of just instead of just blasting it out, and then you have these responses in these lower, like like the the, the choir responses from the soldiers are in such you know in in, in the lower pitch mm. area, which gives this really cool dynamic of like I lead, I like the tenor leads and the basses follow. That's I should not be saying that, but but essentially <laughs> that's kind of like the dynamic. I'm just glad this video is on your channel, not mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm about, I'm about to get fired from the bass gang when they see this, but yeah. <laughs> That's really, really cool. And then we meet, we meet a new character who has the same glasses as me. My sunshine boy! This is Polites. I love him. I'm in love with him. He's my everything. And I adore my sweet little sunshine character so much. Um, yes, no, Polites is A plus one of my favorite characters in the whole show. I'm very glad you meet him now. <laughs> Polities? Polities. So, I, Damn. you'll notice, kind of, I'm going to give like two seconds from now insight, but just to give you that hint. So, you're going to notice very quickly how I mentioned, oh, you're going to love talking about that. That's sort of like angel devil on your shoulder, that like voice of reason versus voice of optimism are very much these two characters, and you'll catch on to that in a moment. But yeah. the reason that I remember is because the guy who's a lot more like intense, everything like that, the one who seems like they would have a sailor mouth if this was, was a different kind of musical, you really cussed. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's the comment I got. You really cussed, Eurylicus. That's how I remember it, and I've never forgotten it since. And polities is literally spelled like the word polite with an S. 
So it's literally, you really oh. cussed and polite. And if you can get that in your head, it makes it so much easier to remember Eurylicus and polities. I Hopefully I can remember what commenter gave me those devices, but I have never forgotten their names since. That's fair. If if you have a trick to this, please let me know in the comments as well. <laughs> I love when, when, when because like I, I personally think it's hilarious to pronounce like normal English words in the Greek way. So for example, <laughs> testicles becomes testicles. <laughs> for example, you know? Like I love that. <laughs> Where am I turning off? I can say that. <laughs> oh dear lord. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to give a warning to all the people coming from my channel to yours that there's yeah. a there's a slight difference in what's allowed through the filter. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah. I guess go back. <laughs> I, island, I, I love him so much. I say we strike first, we don't have time to waste, so let's raid the place and... No, polities gear up, you and I'll go ahead. You and I'll go ahead. We should try to find a way, no one ends up dead. We don't know what's ahead. Give me till sunrise, and if we don't return, then 600 men can make this whole place burn. Now for speed ahead. Just because you specifically drew attention to it before you hop on it, I wanted to say, you mentioned how you really liked how he wasn't always just like belting out the high notes, but is willing to go into his falsetto. And that that moment there shows that that is not because his voice limits out. Anytime he goes into falsetto, that is a choice because when he wants to, he can go. Oh, I went back a little bit too far, but. Also, just shows the vocal control he has by adding yes. that little, like, because because usually when, when you when you are when you are when you are vocalist, you are you're getting to the top of your of your first passage, like you're getting to the top of your your natural chest range. Mm -hmm. You usually get, you usually like won't be able to do anything that just like that, and then like you can't do anything else. You mm -hmm. have to hold that all the concentration, and you're getting it out, and then done. Where he adds like that, hey, like that little, which is ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Love that that is that is Jorge. He he voices. Like he Odysseus, yeah. Remember. So yeah, he's not yeah, all. He was Odysseus, yeah. To my knowledge, in the first couple of songs, it was all him. Like I'm pretty sure even Zeus was him, just through a little bit of a filter. But oh. I believe I'm pretty sure, and all the soldiers were also just him. I believe I'm pretty sure. Um, but Eurylochus and Polites both have different VAs. But Odysseus is still 100% Jorge, yeah, the creator of the show, which is really cool. Legend. Absolutely. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think like we paused like right before like two drum beats to end yeah. it, but like that's that's pretty that's much fun. what we got. <laughs> um There you go. Almost one, you lied to me. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was good. So next one, next one, next that's one, full next speed one, ahead. Oh yeah, yep, hundred percent. Full speed ahead. And now, so this is Open Arms, and this is by uh, Merxy. So this is the one who uh, I've sort of had some chats with and uh, really appreciate their stuff. They commented on my video, which is how we kind of connected. Um, but these next two, so yeah, first two were Gigi. Last one was Wolfie the Witch, just to make sure I give that shout out to him. And then both Open Arms and the final one we're covering today are both going to be animated by Merxy, which is okay. very fun. So here we go. That, wait, Open wait, wait, Arms. Wait, wait. It's a, so mer that's how you pronounce that because those letters look wonky. I mer don't know what that uh, language actually is. I am purely basing it off of their YouTube name uh, on YouTube and uh, Instagram. It's M I R C S Y underscore draws. Okay. So. So how, how do you pronounce it? Pronounce it for me again. Merxy. At least I assume, I hope that, especially since we've had a conversation, I hope they would have corrected me if I was saying it wrong in every video I've made about Epic, <laughs> oh, but... Oh, oh, also, 
also completely forgot to, to mention that, that that was also a very, very, very beautiful animation. Oh, yeah. Wolfie's awesome. Like, yeah. yeah. Wolfie's really, really good. Uh, yeah. Wolfie definitely, like, I feel like goes a little underappreciated, probably because they're one of the only, like, big epic animators that doesn't really use color. And so that uh, just kind of takes away an element that I think draws, a, obviously draws the eyes. But other than that fact, they are wildly talented and really show off. And I love their polities design. But Mer Merxy's Polities design is like, that's my go-to Polities design, I gotta be honest. So you're gonna see more Polities here, and this is when I really fell in love with this character. All right. Mm-hmm. You can relax, my friend. Huh? I can tell you're getting nervous, so do yourself a service. And try to relax, my friend. And find polities. Think of all that we have been through. We'll survive. What do we get into? I know that you're tired of the war and bloodshed. Tell me, is this how we're supposed to live? Look at how you grip your sword and I've said, Why should we take what we could give? You can show a person that you trust them. <laughs> when you stop and lower your guard, did we have a chance for some adjustment? Give it a try. It's not that. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that is so, that is so, because that's so different from all the other ones. Like, this is way, way more, like, I'm, I'm almost getting, like, like, I don't know if that's a genre, like, Jungle Beat. <laughs> like, jungle like, Beat. Ju no, because of the no, you're 100% right. Yeah. And this almost, like, this almost, like, Bossa Nova beat, like, gong, mm. gong, 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 gong. Like, that's really cool. And this animation is very expressive. I really mm -hmm. like that. Like there are these like these like micro motions. Like for example, when when they're like when he plops down his arm, there's like that little donk. You know, mm -hmm. just hit my arm on the table. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, this, there's this little like which is really 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 cool. I'm I'm already <laughs> liking Merxy's animation a lot. That's pretty cool. Let me just go back to where they jump. Yeah. Telling you this life is amazing when you greet it with open arms. Whatever we face, we'll be fine if we're leading from the heart. No I love his voice so much. Stay back. My friend, greet the world with open arms. We're only here for food. Six hundred friends are waiting for us to show our faces. Stay back, I'm warning you. If we don't get back safely, my men will turn this place into blazes. <laughs> oh, the color change is awesome. Oh, yeah. I love this. That's so... I don't know what these creatures are. They look like... Uh, yeah, I don't know what they look like. Like little cats with flowers on them. Very cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going to be like, great. My Greek... My Greek mythology is not great at all. I played well, Greek mythology when I was a kid. No, player. totally. And there's a pretty significant departure from the original source material and how these specific entities are represented. So that's not even anything on, like, your Greek knowledge or anything. Since you are a fellow Percy Jackson fan, um, in a little bit, you're going to have a realization just like I did, but um, so far, yeah, no, that's it, definitely the way they're visually depicted and like that sort of like, just like cute animalistic energy is very different from the source material. Okay. I hope that I will not disappoint Percy Jackson fans because I read those books when I was like 12 years old. No, you're so totally fine. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean, I don't mean to, I don't mean to set, up, <laughs> set you up for failure or anything, but. <laughs> no, no worries. I really like, again, the color play, just like Gigi did mm -hmm. on Mercy. I love this. And I love that, that okay, straying away from 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 the, I guess, from the source material, whatever, with how mm -hmm. these entities are represented. I like that. It's a nice touch to, to the, and, 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 and I can totally believe that these little creatures are making those noises. So it's not like they yes. far off, you know? Like, that's, that's. Their, that's their nicknames are the Winions. And I still don't fully understand why, because I've been very careful not to hop into behind the scenes stuff until I was caught up. So I don't know why, but all the comments have let me know that these little creatures are called the Winions, and they are like okay. essentially the epic fandom mascots, honestly. Like there's plushes of them. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, but that's good because that's branding. So that's. You know, hey, funny. there you go. Now you, now you can talk about it. All right, let's take it back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's get that color change in here. So they're bringing that food up, and then I love the. Like that break in instrument is so cool. This life is amazing when you greet it with open arms. Whatever we face. And now the background vocals are diegetically these creatures. No matter the place, light up the world, you're sad and stark. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. My friend, I wish that I could say that I agree. But look at the way this fruit is glowing and filled with glowing seeds. It took me a while to notice just what kind of fruit they eat. It's a lotus, it controls your mind and never lets you free. That's what we'd get with open. The casino. There you go. <laughs> the Lotus Hotel and Casino is based on, from the Odyssey, the Island of the Lotus Eaters. God. There you go. Okay. I was, you were like, I hope I don't disappoint Percy Jackson fans. I'm like, oh no, you're going to get this reference. You're going to understand. Oh my God. So yes, oh these God. are the Lotus Eaters. <laughs> oh my God. And that's such, that's such a creative, that's such a creative way of like, like uh, representing that as mm -hmm. like little creatures. Cause it's like, you would not expect those sweet little things. And so that's why it's such a departure. Cause what I've been told in the comments, cause I, again, haven't read the Odyssey, but what I've been told in the comments is that originally it's just an island of people and their minds have just gotten totally warped by the Lotus. So turning them from just like brainwashed, like essentially high off their mind humans to these little creatures is kind of that big departure there. But I think it works really well for the story being told here. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. For sure. Lotus Eaters, I'd like to show my friend that kindness is brave. Could you tell me where there's other food to eat? A cave! You're saying there's a cave where we could feast. And where do we sail to find this food filled cave? East! <laughs> East! That way! <laughs> they just, they just cut all the like because this is this is like almost just a oh my god this is almost just a conversation yes like, like and then like he's like oh i'm singing to you go here yeah you know, it's just like cuts out like that that's so sweet i love that and then there's this like there's this little guy sitting next to <laughs> odysseus what's the uh, name? odysseus yeah uh, I did, I was close. yeah that's uh, i love this i love this like this dynamic you know? mm -hmm. like it's it's very very cute i want to i want to hate this guy yeah, please. To eat. <laughs> a cave. You're saying there's a cave where we could feast. And where do we sail to find this food filled cave? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> this life is amazing when you greet it with open arms. I see in your face there is so much guilt inside your heart. So why not repent? Sit and light up the world, here's how to start. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. Greet the world with open arms. You can relax, my friend. Oh, that's Don't pause. gorgeous. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Apple. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what? I don't even know what that could like at first I was like like I was thinking about the fact that like wait, wait I want to go back just a Yeah, second. go go go. You always have to go back farther than you think on this website. Yeah. Okay. So I think it was open arms. I see in your face there's so much guilt inside your heart. So why not? There's so much guilt inside your heart. Remember, we talked on, on your channel about, about how much it would affect. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, this maybe it's not, but but then getting the apple, it seems like he, his, his personality almost split in two when he touched his apple. I don't know. I, yeah. So, basically, just 12 of is like 
just like typical musicals, like there might be some talking in between these songs. So we're technically not getting the whole story in between every single piece. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, so like sometimes there's going to be a gap. It's not like Hamilton or Les Mis where it literally just goes one song to the next every single time. Like it's going to be song, dialogue, song, you know? Yeah, of course. So my understanding now that I've seen it is that basically that was the way because Merxy knew that they were going to animate this song and the next song. So that little segment there is them kind of giving their interpretation of how you get from here to there. Mm. Like what's, what happens in the Smart. moment between when this song ends and when the next song begins so it can be a cohesive experience. Okay. Damn. And now we get to Warrior of the Mind. But feel free to finish your thoughts first. And I love his voice so much. You can relax, my friend. Dude. That that sound effect almost sounds like it's from <laughs> from Jojo Giovanno's theme in, in Jojo's <laughs> that is such that is a fantastic like it's it's a really nice sound mm -hmm. effect. like it really because that scared me like but mm -hmm. oh it scared me yeah. too i'll have to send you like the yeah. clip from my reaction <laughs> dude i am yeah let's yeah no uh Merxy, i love your animation style it's really 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 cool. i'm confident they're going to watch this video they watch i think all of my reactions if not definitely the ones to their stuff so i'm sure they're going to be here so yeah like unlike i know you were complimenting Gigi and stuff i don't know if Gigi will ever hear those words but if you want to say anything to Merxy, there's a very good chance that they end up watching this because i will also right. probably send it to them <laughs> oh that's sweet i'm yeah dude i, I, I just yeah, I'm I'm excited. Let's let's get into the next one. All right, sounds Warrior good. Warrior of the mind. Warrior of the mind. <laughs> oh, he's checking the apple. Oh, it's the. Have you forgotten the lessons I taught you? Athena. <laughs> First of all, piano. <laughs> of course, yes, really, good, really, correct. Really, really like like how how the upbeat piano creates this ambience, and then we see. So, I I I'm pretty sure this is totally random because okay. uh, Mercy and and GGR are different animators. But now we were seeing this dark bird from Zeus earlier on, and now we're seeing Athena with this like lighter mm -hmm. owl, which usually symbolizes wisdom or mm -hmm. age. You know, like so, yeah. Uh, is is Athena his mom or Is that a real question? Actually, either either way it's gonna be answered by the song, so <laughs> we'll just keep going. Okay, okay, was it yeah, I'll go back a little bit like this. No. Have you forgotten to turn off your heart? This is not you. I see you changing from how I'm designed oh. to Uh huh. of wisdom master of war my life has one mission create the greatest warrior i had a challenge a test of skill a magic bar only the best could kill one day a boy came for the thrill a boy whose mind rivaled Wow. Okay. Again, uh, phenomenal voice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she's so freaking talented. So expressive. Like I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. 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 If that was. Uh, I did not realize that was a very dumb question. <laughs> no. 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 You're. T no. 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 It wasn't a dumb question at all. I. I want to clarify real quick that what I was saying was that a real question that wasn't supposed to be disrespectful. Like, oh, is that a real question? I wanted to make because. 
when I'm processing things, I will often process out loud. And I didn't want, I didn't know if that was you like asking the world like, oh, is that his mom? And wanting to find out later if you were actually wanting me to answer. I didn't want to like answer and have you be like, oh, that was a spoiler. I wasn't actually asking. Yeah, Fair game. yeah but because I do, I do know off Athena from of course. different stuff. Yeah, but yeah. That, okay, yeah, no. Did you also recognize, of course, the children around Odysseus being yeah, baby the, versions the, the, of Polites and Polites and the other the, the the guy who wanted to burn the village? Eurylochus. Yeah, yeah, you really you are really cussed. you really cussed, yeah. You really cussed. Eurylochus. Yeah. Policies. Show yourself, I know you're watching me, show yourself, I Dude, I love, I just, I have to pause, I no, love please do. the sound design is here, especially if you hear the synth, like the, it's, 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 it's panned in a way where you can feel like someone's watching you or circling you, mm -hmm. here, like, like there, that's so cool, I love this. I know you're watching me, show yourself. I can see you. How can you see through my spell? <laughs> I was lying and you fell for my bluff. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, if we both tried to pause. I love that part so much. <laughs> it is it is just now occurring to me like we are not watching like a trip like I almost said we're not watching an actual musical as I mean like we're not sitting in a theater watching a plane. Yeah. Us. So the way that they're like interacting with each other just vocally like it's especially Jorge is doing an amazing job like like, mm -hmm. like yeah and then obviously uh, Merxy bringing this to life with the animation definitely helps but also that that, that, that he's so expressive in his vocals and, and and so is she you know like yes. I just now realized that for the past like hour we've actually been sitting listening to people singing yes and then having a like an animator who has essentially nothing to do with that process who has then made up made a product off that right I, that's just blowing my mind like it's it's one of those i think i hear sometimes that a good play is is like a play you don't realize you're watching or yes like that. uh and that that's exactly what's happening right now like i just now realized we're, we're actually watching like we're just, watching a play like yes we're listening to a musical right yeah like poof. okay see you how can you see through my spell <laughs> i was lying and you fell for my bluff uh -huh. <laughs> well done, enlighten me, what's your name? You first, and maybe I'll do the same. Nice try, but two can play this game. Nah, don't be modest, I know you're a goddess, so let's be honest, you are Athena. Badass in the arena. This was a TikTok trend, and I just yes, know it, it was from here. Yes, it was. I need you to understand. Ooh. Same. In my reaction, I literally went, wait, that's also from Epic? I've totally heard this part. <laughs> so, yes, that, uh, you, you must be, or, yeah, you are Athena comes from this show as well. And he knows, bro. This is, this, uh, god damn it. Odysseus. Or, god damn it. Uh huh. Odysseus. You're doing great. Odysseus. Uh, Odysseus. Odysseus. Oh. Oh. I'll give you flashcards later. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, what was that lyric? God. Which what? one? God is. Goddess and man. I, th I thought the lyric was, God is a man. I got so <laughs> confused. I was like, you have the balls to say that when she's standing right there? <laughs> no. Sounds like, a okay. sounds like a plan. Goddess and man. Yeah. Bestest of friends. And then she says, we'll see how it ends. Yeah, bestest of friends. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's definitely a lot younger here. But that also showed, like, this is how long Athena's been 
crafting him, honing him. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, when you really look at the character design, that is, like, the one downside to the musical format is, like, when you age down a character unless you're getting a new actor, it's hard to represent how young it is. Like, he's got the exact same voice as old Odysseus, but, like, if you look at how young he and Polites and everyone looks like, they're, like, teenagers when he bluffed and then got recruited by a goddess. Like, that's wild. <laughs> That, that that is that's pretty damn impressive also, <laughs> like and this is where the and and oh mercy you're doing a phenomenal job at expressing these characters so good uh this is where the video comes in comes in crucial because i must admit because of the video i didn't even think of that like that yeah he does sound exactly like he he does when he mm -hmm. was the baby in, in the first song so but but yeah but but because of the video because visually he is younger i am like okay, he's a little, he's a little, little honest, boy yeah, so yeah little dude yeah. Just a little guy. <laughs> um, and queen of the best strategies we've seen. If you're looking for a mentor, I'll make sure your time's well spent. Sounds like a plan. God is a man. Best is a friend. Let's see where it ends. Okay. Maybe one day they'll follow me and we'll make a greater tomorrow. <laughs> then they'll see I know we'll change the world because we are the workers of the mind. <laughs> Uh-huh! I know, right? I know, right? I love that part so much! Oh, Jorge. And I love that as soon as they start talking about changing the world together or teaming up stuff like that, they start, to, they start harmonizing. Yes! Like they start working in perfect harmony. Yeah, oh, it's so beautiful. <sighs> I love this montage. And Tomorrow, then they'll see I know we'll change the world because we are the world. Uh-huh. Don't forget that you're a warrior of a very special kind. You are a warrior of the mind. Don't disappoint me. Oh my That all happened. That happened when he touched the apple. In a split second. Yeah. All of that happened in the amount of time it took him to just drop the apple in the last animation. Dude, it's like this, this, like these, what, what are we up to? Like seven songs. This is only the fifth song, my dude. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, these fifth, sorry. Oh, my God. These fifth no, I know. It feels like it's been so long. His character, like the the, the understanding and the care, I, I guess character growth mm -hmm. is better than like most modern media I've seen. Because when when I when I when you told me that he dropped the child in just a minute, mm -hmm. I was like, why? Like like what? What the hell? But now it makes sense. It totally makes sense. He's been a god. Like, when, stop with this. A warrior of a goddess yeah. since he was a teen. For sure. So now it totally makes sense. So fantastic build of the story because, like that decision. Like that decision in just a man in him and dropping the child after hearing that this is what he's gonna become, part of me understood and part of me was like, but you're killing a child. That's not cool. Yeah. But but it wasn't it wasn't such a big thing that like if he did it, I would be like, you know what? No, that's just uh, no. Yeah. No one would do that. That's so bad. Blah blah. It it split me into thinking, like that's tough. But wow, you kill a child, man. Come on. But let's yeah. see what happens. And then now it truly makes sense. Like now it's it's just so much clearer. Wow. wow. And it shows how harsh. Athena's influences because this entire song that's all about like have you forgotten what I've taught you let me remind you all of this anger she has and the need to remind him he's a warrior is just coming from like Polites being like hey what if we didn't murder people like <laughs> literally Polites is yeah. just like hey what if we approached a single situation in our entire lives with peace and Athena's like let me spend four minutes berating you about why you're wrong <laughs> like that really tells you what he's been grown to think and honed to be dude it's ge genius genius I want is, is there anything else to the to I don't think so there might be a little bit of animation but I know the song's over Okay. Okay, yeah, that's Damn. it. So, that was... I have no idea what that was. <laughs>
that was the conclusion of the Troy saga. Okay. So it is split wow. into multiple different sagas. That is called the Troy saga, and that is the end of it. Do okay. you want a little bit of insight into what comes next? Give give me something that's like just very very not, minor. Yeah, just some, something that's not going to spoil anything for me, but something that's good because I'm I'm probably going to continue reacting to these. Yes. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> the Winions, the little lotus eaters, told them that there might be more food to find in a cave to the east. After the Troy saga is the Cyclops saga. Oh boy. Okay, if, 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 like, because I'm now, I'm thinking Percy Jackson. So if, if that's what happened, I'm not, I don't want to speculate because I don't want to set myself up for fit. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how you could possibly have any insight to what the uh, Cyclops saga might be holding in a cave to the east. No way that we could possibly have any kind of insight or fear about what's going to happen when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> My God, dude. Wow. Isn't it so good, though? <laughs> It's fantastic. Yeah, that was just the first saga. Oh my god. We like I got to I got to cover one of these songs fully like at some point. I got my god, dude. And that cuz I can't truly pick like they all fall under this umbrella term in the musical, but the songs are so different and then not mm -hmm. at all in the same like in a sense that that the story they tell is so coherent. It's perfect. Like like Jorge wrote this like he wrote yes this. it's all from jorge's mind a hundred percent all the musicality is just him wow. yes that's yes <laughs> i know wow, wow, wow. okay that what yep yeah, wow, wow that damn some people huh <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, honestly though no. that that's that's insane wow okay i i will take time to recover from the troy saga but like yeah, my God! Thank you for introducing me to this. Morning. Yes, this was... thank you, thank you for watching it with me. Here, I'll let me. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'll let this is your channel. You take the outro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction analysis, I, obviously there was no branding perspective to this. So if you enjoyed this type of analysis where we went a bit more into the video musicality story type, then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments. Obviously, huge thanks to Mordius for joining me uh, for this and for showing me. You can check out his channel in the description. He will also have, probably have the pinned comment if he decides to comment. Um, other than that, if you want to support me both as a content creator but also as an artist, you can do so on Patreon. <laughs> I already have a lot of cool people down here. Uh, who are supporting me right now absolutely amazing thank you for that <laughs> yeah, perfect <laughs> um yeah obviously of course go subscribe to mordius uh get him to 100k by tomorrow <laughs> or I will delete it no, i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah but, but yeah no for, for real it, it was a true pleasure watching this with you mordius absolutely love it and i am hopefully hoping that this is the start of a rabbit hole for me for the for for, for, for epic i am confident it's going to be because it was for me yeah well <laughs> let's i yeah i'm i'm definitely i i'm not 100 percent on it but definitely will be checking out the rest of the epic saga at at some point if not already like immediately <laughs> we'll see i don't want i don't want i don't want to promise anything but yeah but of course yeah. okay anyway thank you so much for watching and uh have a good day